all right y'all welcome back uh so if you watched a couple videos back i got my truck stuck on this road right in front of me and i forgot to grab my traction boards and my shovel off the side of the road so i've come back it's a week later or uh it's six days later from when i got stuck and the road is still super sloppy right in front of me if you can see up there i was over that hill when i got stuck so let's see if we can find them just hopped out of the truck and even just right here super sloppy uh, just turn it off onto this bit of gravel and then the gravel ends right up here but it's gonna be a bit of a walk up here so uh, I don't feel like anybody else has been able to drive up here they should still be there we'll see Well, I've kind of made it back to where we were at. I'm... Ooh, I see some red right there. I think it's still here. Maybe I can knock a lot of the mud off. But we've got them. And here's the broken one. I thought they were both broken, but it looks like it's just the one, which is still a big bummer, but I guess if I buy another set, I've got three. Yeah, they're still caked with a bit of mud, but we found them. They should stack together. I should be able to carry them pretty easily. There we go. Ooh. This one, is this the same one that's broken? Nope, this one's broken all through the middle. Can you see that right there? All right, I've got the bag. I'm just gonna put those things back in the bag. It'll be the easiest way to keep the mud off of everything. The shovel can go back at its home, it's fine. It's a little dirty, but. There we go. Saved him. Just set him up here. You might also notice that I took my seat cover off. First time I haven't had the seat cover on for a while. Like I'm gonna have to get a detail or something. There's just mud all over everything. Seat's not too bad, but uh, I just keep the seat covers on there just so they don't get super dirty. But yeah, it's pretty filthy. I got most of it off the doors and whatnot, but. Let's go find a campsite. Truck's gonna be filthy again. Sweet. You can hear the mud just slanging off of it already. We made it to a spot, not a bad one. Uh, only person here, of course. 
Got a nice tree line behind me here. But I think in celebration of recovering our traction boards from our own stupidity, it's time for a drink. Let's crack one open. up a Dos Equis Amber Especial. I can't say I've ever had this one. I've had the Dos Equis before. Just a regular one. Brewed in Mexico since 1897 and originally called Siglo XX to celebrate the arrival of the great 20th century. Dos Equis Amber is an authentic Mexican cerveza brewed in the style of Vienna lagers. It is a signature amber color, hides a subtle hint of roasted malt with a surprisingly smooth taste and clean finish. Salute. Oh. So, it's currently about 50 degrees, and we have a low of about 25 tonight. Uh, so it's not too bad. Put my vest on. We do have... Or, Excuse me, we do not have electricity here tonight, so I probably will. I do have the propane heater in there. We'll probably keep that in there just so we can warm ourselves up later, but I think I'm just gonna get myself a fire going. Try to cook myself dinner before the sun goes down. It is overcast, so it'll probably get dark fairly early, but let's try to get this fire going. Well, I'm glad I got my shovel because it's just a pool of water in here. All frozen. Now, this might be a little bit difficult to get going, but we'll make it happen. And I don't even want to put this down in there. It's just going to get soaked. What else do we do? Should be able to get her going with this. Spilling my beer. Question is if this thing is dry enough right now. It's dry. Dry from the last adventure. Come on, fire. Don't let me down now. Well, I'm glad I got those traction boards back. A um, little bummed that they're broken. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just keep those for the next time? Because I mean, they're still somewhat usable, but, or do I buy another set, keep all four in there? Do I get rid of those? Buy just one more set? like? Kind of in a conundrum of what to do with those because they're still kind of usable also having to depend on those in a situation where you really need them what happens if since it's already broken it just breaks in half kind of thing so i don't know might need to see if i can find some stronger ones also it's just kind of 
they're stupid expensive for a piece of plastic. If you guys watched the last video of me flying with Jeremy, that video was actually recorded a couple of months ago. And I questioned myself on putting it out because you couldn't hear our audio while we were flying. Like I had my phone Bluetooth to the headsets, but for whatever reason it didn't record through the headsets, it just recorded through the phone. So you couldn't hear anything. Uh, but that was an amazing experience. I really wish you could have heard it. And I wish I had the GoPro set up a little bit differently so you could have actually seen me on the controls. Because uh, I, I was flying when we did the, the, I don't know even what you called it. He called it something where you have to go in a circle and try to catch your own wake or yeah it would, it would probably be called your own wake and then you can feel it so you know if you were like if you had stayed level i guess um, so it would have been cool had had i had like maybe a camera behind us so you could see me on the controls and then uh i flew like in straight lines for a long time but i cut like 90 percent of that stuff out because you couldn't hear our conversations and and that's kind of a bummer because he was explaining a lot of things as we were flying but these things happen. Hopefully on the next one, when we, we do that again, I can figure out how to record the audio properly. But uh, I figured I'd put it out for you guys anyways, just because it was such an awesome experience, something incredibly different. guys i'm gonna go ahead and get dinner going i told myself i'd do it tonight before the sun went down and got too dark uh, and it's just about to drop over the horizon out there and i'm out of beer so i've got everything i need stuffed in the cooler even the things that don't need to be cold Keep that up on the dry ground, I guess. All right. So I don't think I'm going to eat all of those Fritos, but one of y'all sent in an entire big box of them. So I'm going to make some like Frito pie. I picked up this Lloyd's seasoned and shredded beef. You can, it's all ready. You can throw that in the microwave. You could probably eat it cold out of there since it's pre-cooked. Uh, but we're going to warm that up, throw it on a bed of Fritos. We've got some diced tomatoes and green chilies from Rotel here. Those were also sent in. We've got, oop, we've got Velveeta cheese. Uh, I received some boxes of Velveeta cheese in the mail too. I had no idea that you could buy those just individually like that. And we've got some jalapeno slices here. And we've got a new hot sauce to try. So we're gonna make ourselves some shredded seasoned beef Frito pie. Never use the thing. Meat's starting to get nice and steamy over there. One for me.
One more, I think. That's probably good. Four bags. Oof, I think that's probably done. Steaming. Uh, I set this down without melting things. Maybe. I'll grab another piece of wood for the fire. Two. There we go. All right. So I think we're just going to dump the whole thing on here. See how this turns out. Maybe I should get a light. go grab a light for my camera quick let it get dark and the sun's behind me all right let's hope that gives you a little bit more light y'all uh, I think next we'll do the Velveeta cheese I don't know if I'm gonna put this whole thing on there guess we'll see what it looks like Ooh, I open the whole side of it dangerous all right we're just gonna use it all you gotta just use it all we'll go with some of these Rotel maters and jalapenos maters and green chilies this I don't think I'm gonna use the whole thing I don't need that much of that on there did expect more green chilies though. My finger's dirty, but we've got some sliced jalapeno peppers, sliced jalops, y'all. finger so as far as the hot sauce goes this came in I believe a three pack or there was three of this brand uh, uh, but it's from Alice Cooper and uh, this one is called no more mr. nice guy which is fitting and it's the medium hot sauce and it says what does it say on here I used to be such a sweet thing till I got a hold of this sauce Aged red habanero peppers create a balance of heat and flavor so good it's obscene. Make no mistake, with a few drops of this, you'll be swinging back at the good reverend. Let me show you a label, I guess. I hope you guys can see that. Alice Cooper. Oh, it's got a dropper on it. Might be getting a little dangerous, but we're just going to dip her on there all over it. <laughs> that should be good. If it's not too hot, we'll put some more on there. Uh, not a very fancy looking dinner, but that's going to fill me up for sure. Big old shredded beef, like taco salad, cheese on there. And I'm going to eat it with my spoon because there's going to be no way I can do this by hand with the Fritos. Yeah, that's good. 
You could definitely make two servings with this. Uh, but I'm gonna eat this whole plate. This might be good with chili cheese Fritos too, if you like those. We're just gonna have to try this straight on a bite just so I can actually get the flavor of it. Cause I'm not getting anything that's too crazy yet. Four, five drops. Good flavor, not very hot at all. It says it's a medium, it's definitely a medium, uh, to me anyways. There's one hotter and there's a mild one. I figured I'd start with the middle one, but I think we could have done the super spicy. We're just gonna get some more of it on there. Put this down in me. If there's been some geese flying around, you might be able to hear them. One's honking off there in the distance somewhere. Well, I might get a flyover since I just said that. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see those. There's probably about a pack of 15 of them. Well, between the jalapenos and the hot sauce, it's definitely warm, very tasty. I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do with these Fritos because I've got like 30 more bags of them at home. I don't know how many were in that box, but it was big. Uh, that was all very good. The hot sauce was great. Hot sauce was great. I'm gonna get this junk cleaned up and hang out and watch this fire burn down. We'll just leave those couple pieces to be the last and get headed into the truck. I I rented a I rented a movie on Amazon. Ooh, I'm getting a chill now. I rented a movie on Amazon. I can't remember what the name of it is. Ooh. Like I got the cold sweats because it's chilly. And I'm sweating. movie going like I said I rented something on Amazon it's a new movie put the sloth sheets back on the bed It's called uh, I'm Totally Fine. And it's from 2022. And it says Vanessa, played by Jillian Bell, 
and she's uh, she was on Workaholics, embarks on a solo trip to clear her head after the death of her best friend, but her self-care vacation plans change when she finds her recently departed Jennifer standing in the kitchen claiming to be an extraterrestrial. Together they spend the next 48 hours partying and reminiscing on better days in the comedy that's out of this world. So the, the preview looked pretty funny. It was like a $2.99 $2.99 rental. So I figured I'd give this a watch. It looked pretty interesting. And, uh, oh, I think I'm going to move this heater. I'm going to shut it off. I think Jillian Bell's pretty funny. Five degrees outside and it's 29 in here and my windows are all frosted over ooh, ooh. Hey, this heater turned on oh. get this blanket on me oh <sighs> my sleeping bags only rated to 30 degrees I could have used the heavier one but yeah a little frosty. You can see the sun's probably up out there. Let's see if this will start. There we go. Let's look at the sunrise. Good on camera. Uh, red sky in the morning, sailor take warning. It's pretty red, I guess. I don't know. It's getting warmed up in here, though. Man. That movie last night, I ended up crashing out right after the movie. But it was a weird one. Uh, not exactly what I expected, uh, but very funny. And if you're a fan of the show Workaholics, then you'll also get a kick out of who, <coughs> who her husband, who plays her husband in the show, in the movie. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'd recommend it. Really weird movie, but good movie. Oh, shoot. Oh, brought it up one degree. Go. One scoop. <laughs>
two scoops. It's probably way too much. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's way too much. We gotta put some of that back. <laughs> it's like the two scoops of, or two shots of vodka meme. <laughs> oh, shots of vodka. I mean, the name Jet Boil's cool and all, but. <clears throat> I think they should have gone with like a retro name. Boilomatic 3000. Yeah, that's all. I put a lot of coffee in there. It's gonna be really strong. It's all right. A little bit of coffee in there today. Boom, we got coffee, it's too hot to drink, and we got some donuts that I opened last night. And uh, I was gonna get this junk put away. I think it's time to just hit the road. Go ahead and start this thing now.
definitely gonna avoid the sloppy roads for a while, man. My, I just spent like 40, 30, 40 dollars on the car wash last week and this thing is filthy. So anyways, y'all, we're just gonna leave it at that. Dinner was good, movie was good, and the operation was a success. So, as always, stay tuned for the next adventure.